Oh, look at this little puppy. Hello, what you doing? Are you broke? You're broke. Making your way in the world today takes everything. <laughs> All right, so today we're finally going to work on the next part of the trailer. Uh, this is the part where we're going to attach the tongue. Rufus, you're you're a YouTube star. <laughs> Oh, Rufus, you had to say hi. Anyways, I got this uh, trailer tongue here um, that's going to make this a trailer. Now this, uh, let's see, what did this use? This is for a two and a, two and five sixteenths diameter ball, so I'll have to get a new ball, but it, this is a lot heavier duty than the uh, other trailer stuff that we've been working with, so. Um, we actually used to have a trailer. Um, we used a two inch ball. Uh, my idea is, uh, this was at the drive shaft shop that uh, helped me out with the drive shaft in the truck. Um, so they had these here. This is $31. And it is pretty skookum. Uh, and we're building a skookum trailer. And you guys remember the extendable pickup, the F-150 that, ha that we put another Cummins in. Well, we ended up taking that out and putting an F-350. And uh, we cut this thing in half, and we're now using it as a trailer because we're like, hey, you know, now we don't have to buy a trailer. And what I look about this is this has a real suspension setup with shock absorbers and everything. None of this, you know, this this kind of suspension movement with springs that have shackles that rub up against everything, and it doesn't flex at all. And then you feel it in the truck. And then we're going, I'm going to bolt this up. It's going to be, I'm going to drill two holes on the top. It'll be bolted here two ways. And then probably, I don't know, one or two holes there. That should be enough. And then I'm going to do what I can with my horror freight welder and weld all that in and, you know, make sure it's, it's skookum. But having a bolt it is good assurance. Now we also want to make sure that the frame itself is square and not tweaked or anything. Right now I think it's pretty much as good as it's going to get. And I'm thinking what I actually might do is see if I can't uh, put this like right in the center. I'm actually going to invest in some uh, really big ass uh, floor jacks. I think Eric DeCarga has a set. They just look massive. I mean, they're almost just at normal height. Like when they're not extended, they're like right to here. I'm gonna, yeah, get a set of those. So let's see if we can raise this down enough to. Touch that, that's, that's okay. I don't mind having to be on the ground. Here. So in doing all this, because it's hot out, it's June, almost July. I've got ice cold water here.
this is what I've done so far. It's actually, this is easier than I thought. It would be very minimal effort. I'm, I'm gonna leave this much frame here because first of all, I can use a factory cross member hole here. I'm gonna mark it out and then drill it out in this guy. Um, and I'll be able to do the same for the other side. Um, and then I just cut a couple of notches, really pretty, pretty quick. A couple of notches, a little bit bigger than they needed to be, but I'm gonna patch that up and make that rail nice and solid. I'm gonna measure the length of that right there. This is pretty square from the looks of it. I'm kind of using my eye-chrometers. Yeah, that's square. Um, so then what I'm gonna do is get the same length on that, cut the two notches here, and then fold this over. And then I'm gonna see if I need to trim this down a little bit. I might actually go ahead and cut it right about here all the way down so that way I can maybe use these two bolt holes and bolt it onto here and then um, I'm thinking I can drill a hole maybe here or do here in the middle and then one here and that way it's got four bolts holding it on and then I'm going to come around here with the welder. I'm going to clean all of this off. I'm going to actually paint this whole part of the frame so it's protected better. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the wire wheel on this guy and I'm going to take all the paint off right in this area here. And I'm going to weld as best I can right in here all the way down on both sides. And uh, that should make that nice and solid. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And I could probably utilize some of these bolt holes here. Like these two maybe. Or right, some of these up here for the jack. These kind of projects are always fun. Up to a point where you gotta go get some more cutting material for your thingamajig. So, let's see, I made this cut. I'm gonna go off of the rivets here. Three and a quarter. And three and a quarter. Oh shit, I forgot there's a thing there. it right here and as long as it's straight all the way down it won't um, won't bend funny so, yeah, this here. yep I hit it square Try and cut the bottom. 
again. So I'm going to need to trim more frame off of this because evidently I think I'm going to get a couple new cutting wheels. I'm going to trim this off and this off, get these even and then that way I can use these two holes to bolt on here. So this goes on here about like that. I'm going to say about there, we'll keep that the same as equal. Or I can just not cut it and I'll just do it this way. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to find a way to keep this thing from moving. easier to bend. Oh yeah. Okay. That's working a little bit better. I'll show you what I had to do. So you see here, I got it pretty much cut right down to the flat here. This one here had a little bit hanging up there. So I just trimmed those out. And then it made it so it bend in. So now I'll probably see if I can't move that in a little bit more. Get them squared up, clamped down, and we'll drill some holes. Yeah, it's looking more and more like a trailer. I like it. That definitely needs to come. That looks pretty square to me. I'm gonna find another clamp, clamp that side down. But that looks pretty good, doesn't it? So I'm gonna find another clamp, clamp it down. And then boom. So Adam's over here. <laughs> so this is where I'm at right now. I'm gonna go get a new cutting wheel. And uh, yeah, new, I need to get a new cutting wheel and um, or a couple of cutting wheels and then uh, continue working on this and I'm kind of going to take a break. It's getting a little warm so I might come back out tonight and do this. So it's not, I think it's pretty, pretty damn close to being square. Um, it's not fully, you know, seated or anything. I think I'm going to come up a little bit. I mean, pretty yeah that's pretty good for my methods so what I was thinking I'm gonna get a cutoff wheel so I can trim the frame here and get it so that this tongue will fit on top of these bolt holes and I can use those to trace it out on the on the thing there bolt that in and then aside I'll just bolt that drill some holes bolt that in 
clamp it down and then uh, do some welding. I'm going to wait for that till tonight. Um, and then I'm going to take these little pieces that we cut off. I'm going to clean them up on the bench grinder. And then right in here, I'm going to go ahead and just weld them in. Same thing here. I'm just going to take that, weld it in. And then we should be good and strong there. So, yeah, I'm just going to pack up for right now. We'll come back later and work on her some more. Mm -hmm. 